Good evening. After nearly a quarter century of politics here at City Hall, Councillor Denzelman and Wong is hoping to move up the street to Queen's Park, announcing today he's running for the Conservatives in Don Valley East, or he's seeking the nomination at least. I think it's it's time for a change in Ontario and, and specifically in Toronto. Well, there's no such thing as a sure thing when it comes to a Conservative winning and left-leaning Toronto. Don Valley East will likely be kind to Min and Wong. It contains all of his current Ward 34. Also, Min and Wong believes the Conservatives under Patrick Brown are not your father's Tories. He says Brown has lots to offer Toronto. What he's offering in terms of tax cuts, He's offering money for daycare. Seniors are getting a break on, on, for their dental services, and I know I've got a lot of seniors. Um, transit, this is a, he's, he, he's offering an urban agenda. How important is Toronto to the Conservatives? Well, um, symbolically, it's very important. With the Liberals scooping up councillors Chin Lee in Scarborough North and Shelley Carroll in Don Valley North as candidates, U of T political expert Professor Nelson Wiseman isn't surprised to see the Conservatives mining City Hall for rock star candidates. He says they need to make inroads in the city and strengthen their showing in the GTA if they want to form the government. Would a Conservative government be good or bad for Toronto? Uh, well, uh, the last Conservative government was not very good to Toronto at all, uh, or I would say for municipalities generally. Wiseman sees Min and Wong ending up in Cabinet if he and the Conservatives win in June. Now, Min and Wong isn't looking that far ahead. He even got a little testy when he was pressed to see if he would resign while running. Does when you're resigning your council seat? I have to win the nomination, Jeff, and so I'm not going to count my chickens. Min and Wong says nothing at City Hall where he is deputy mayor made him make the move to Queen's Park. In fact, he says the mayor, who he has known for 30 years, is glad he is doing it. He's in, very encouraging. Uh, you know, uh, um, he himself was in provincial politics and he appreciates my, my passion for public service because he is, he's that passion too. Now, if Min and Wong wins the nomination and runs, he doesn't legally have to resign his position. And for now, he isn't saying what he plans to do then.